Hello and welcome to Mind and Mead. This is the TTRPG world building series that I will be doing alongside with my daughter Mia. <laughs> Hi, there's Mia here. And so what we are going to do today. And I'm here with my daddy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. What we're going to do today is we are going to talk about that world that we've been wanting to build, aren't we, Mia? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for the listeners, come sit back just a little bit. So for the listeners out there, what is the world that we came up with? What's the idea that we're going to do? It's going to be a forest and a town. A forest and a town. Okay, awesome. So who is going to be in this town and forest? There's going to be fairies, unicorns, and in the, and in the forest, there's going to be a little house that has a that that has a huge dragon in it but instead of little house there's a gigantic cave very nice very nice okay so we're gonna uh, a gigantic cave there's gonna be now who so in what we were talking about is what is going to be the problem that has to be solved so one day, all of the unicorns and fairies walk out into the forest, and then they stop to have like a little picnic and have some food. But then, when the rest of the unicorns and fairies were looking, there was a dragon sneaking up behind all of them, and it took one of the fairies and took one of the unicorns. Okay, so this dragon, um, what, what made? This dragon want to take a fairy and a unicorn. The reason the dragon wanted to take the fairy and unicorn is because he got jealous about they had their powers and he didn't have any powers. So he thought he could steal two um, little um, people, that's a fairy and a unicorn, and he was going to trap them in a cage with a wire connected to both the cages. Then he'll um, like make a little computer that actually works and he'll connect that um, like cable to the computer from the cages to the computer so that um, if he touches a button it would make the unicorns and fairies powers um, disappear. Oh okay so he doesn't want to take the powers for himself he, he, he just wants to make the powers not be theirs anymore. No the reason when I said disappear I meant like he'll disappear the unicorn the unicorn and fairy's power okay. so that he could have it all to himself because there's, uh-huh. there's a little something from the cages and the computer and it goes around his arm and when he presses that button all of the um, unicorn and um, fairy's power go into his arm and then it makes him more powerful okay awesome okay so now the dragon that we're dealing with um, what kind of dragon what color is this dragon going to be this dragon is green and it has red spots okay green and red spots so he's going to be primarily a green dragon so with we, red we, with red spots yeah okay so would you think that this dragon's fire breath or breath would be poisonous maybe well i was thinking that dragon's breath would actually just be poisonous and if he breathes it into the fairies it will make them like pass out and if he um breathes it into the unicorns the unicorns would um like just um grab onto him like well, the unicorns would like, just like grab onto him and just like punch him okay so so the breath is going to make the unicorns a bit aggressive yeah okay okay and if and if he blows at the fairies he, um the fairies would just like pass out <laughs> fair enough fair enough um so uh we came up with a a name for this place didn't we 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 thought maybe ever bright what do you think do you still like that name do you still not well, or would you like to change it i do like ever bright but if we had ever bright and mm. we had a different name for the forest Okay. We could have the town called Everbright, yep. and a forest could also have the name. But okay, we well, don't really know what it is. Okay, that's yet. fine. Okay, so why don't we why don't we have an idea? Oh, now I have a great idea for the forest. It could be called Dragon Safe Zone. Dragon Safe Zone. Okay, doesn't sound. Yes, do not, because the because only the dragons allowed in that, and the unicorns and fairies didn't know that. 
Okay, all right. So this is a dragon-only zone. So it's kind of like what being kept away from the town of Everbright, like signs saying don't go in there. No, there isn't any signs. But on the news, when normally like you call the fairies, watch the news. Um, somebody on the news says don't go into this forest. There's a big dragon in, okay. dragon in the cave, but the unicorns and fairies didn't believe it. So they went into the so they went into the forest, yeah. and then they stopped for a little picnic. Uh, okay. And, and then as soon as um the, as soon as the fairy and the unicorn got taken, they noticed that um there was two missing. Uh, okay, all right. Like one fairy missing and one unicorn missing. Fair enough. Okay, so so the the aim for for this little adventure that we are going to put together and make it quite simple so that you can play because you're only six years old aren't you yeah uh, soon to be seven not 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 long um so we're gonna so the aim is to save the unicorn and the fairy yeah okay from the dragon now wants their powers uh, it wants their powers now what shall we call the unicorn what shall that be its name? The what unicorn? The unicorn that's been taken. Isabel. Isabel. Okay, Isabel the unicorn. Alright, and now for the fairy. What are we going to call the fairy? Sophie. Sophie, okay. So Sophie the fairy and Isabel the unicorn. Alright. Yeah. Now, how are we going to get our adventurers to save these people what, what are we going to send out a newsletter or are we going to send out a call for help well i was thinking that um the unicorns and fairies could disguise themselves as like um somebody from like the news and the dragon hasn't seen that person or or animal before okay and um he'll be like um are you new to this place and they'll probably just say like yeah we're new to this place and they would like say they come from a different country or like a different place in this like town but but the dragon doesn't really even realize that um those those fairies and those unicorns are actually trying to get that fairy and unicorn back from that dragon okay so we're gonna have a a group of adventurers who are going to disguise themselves, so, but they're going to basically be um, the the adventurers are going to be unicorns and fairies themselves. Is that what you want? Yeah, but these adventurers are still unicorns and fairies. But when they find out that um, a fairy and a unicorn have been missing, Isabel and Sophie, um, they think of a good way to try to get them back. Okay, awesome. so they get themselves in a disguise. All right then. Okay. So we will have... And they say they come from Africa. <laughs> <laughs> but they actually don't. They just come from this town. Okay. All right. So they're going to they're gonna try to be deceiving. They're going to try and deceive the dragon into saving. So the idea... Okay. So because we're going to make this into a campaign, into a one-shot campaign, something that we can run, It. the idea is that we're going to have a dragon that has come out from the forest and out of his cave yeah and and he's come into the town of everbright and taken the head unicorn and the head fairy no no so the unicorn and fairies went into the forest and they had uh, a picnic oh they had a picnic so they the they forest. were being little daredevils were they little well, daredevils like, I don't really, um, think that's true so they just wanted to try it out uh, and see what they, did, they didn't believe it they didn't believe that the stories of the forest and the dragon so they went in there and they had a little picnic and next minute the dragon comes and swiped them away yeah swiped two away but they didn't notice that but okay. then as soon as they were um talking to like um isabel and sophie yeah sophie um they they actually <coughs> find out that those two aren't aunt Answering um, this question, um, the unicorns and fairies were asking them, okay, and they okay. actually find out that those two are like taken away and like lost. Okay, awesome. Uh, All right. Disappeared in the thin so, air. So we've got <laughs> a, a a really good hook. It's what's what called a hook to the story. So it's yeah. something that uh, um, gets people interested <laughs> in playing the game. So we've got a big bad evil guy the dragon yeah and we've got 
but I people have a, that we need to save. But I have a great name for the dragon. Oh, okay. What's the name for the dragon? Harry. Harry? Why Harry? It's because um, he he loves the letters H, A, R, and Y. So I thought if we did a H and an A and an R, R and, then we'll, and then a Y, it can make Harry. Okay, fair so enough. So it could okay. be called Harry. Right, Harry the dragon. Because that was his favourite letters. Fair enough. Okay, no worries. Um, so we've got Harry the dragon. Yeah. We've got Sophie the fairy. And yeah. uh, Isabel the unicorn. Yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, what would be one or two ways, let's say two ways, that we could have the dragon get defeated? I have a great one. Yeah. So um, when the dragon isn't looking... And the fairy and the unicorns are in the cave. Mm-hmm. Um, they will sneak up behind him. Yeah. And they will um go and get the computer. Yeah. They will um well, one fairy and one of the unicorns are gonna unlock um the cages. Yeah. Well, a fairy's gonna unlock the fairy that's stuck in the cage. Okay, so Sophie and the unicorns are gonna unlock the cage that has um. Isabella and the unicorn, and um, the rest of the unicorns are gonna try and find out a way that can, um, the fairies, the fairy and the unicorn can like um, um, like um, get this and like um, you know like what? cable like off of them. Yeah. Because um, the computer was like um connected to the cables because there was three cables. On that connected to the the fairy's arm and it was like one that connects the two the unicorn's arm because mm. the because the because the evil dragon put um those on the fairy and the unicorn yeah arm and um then they try to find out a way that could take the cables off <clears throat> and then like get in them like come like free like so they can't be in the dragon's cave anymore and all that stuff Okay, no worries. And then as soon as they f- found out the the way to like um get the like um um cables off of the unicorn and fairy's arm, Sophie and um Isabel, um after they did after they got the cables off of um Sophie and Isabel, um the dragon Harry came in and he was like, "Oi, you get off of that fairy and that unicorn." Their powers are gonna be mine, and then like we're all gonna just like quickly like run away because the unicorns and fairies can like fly because these unicorns have like gonna have wings. <laughs> okay. And um, all right. Okay. So so. You didn't really see. Okay. Continue. Go. And um, when um the. Unicorns and fairies fly. They did notice that this dragon actually also had wings. Cause um, this these unicorns and these fairies didn't actually know what the dragon looked like. They just thought it was just like um like a big monster with sharp teeth, and um it had no wings. But when they realized the, dra- the dragon was following them, then Harry, um, they were like, we have to, to find somewhere to get to safety. And then um, when when they lost sight of the dragon, the dragon lost sight of them. They quickly rushed back into their houses, so they would never ever go back out again. Okay, that was a lot. Okay, so that was one of the ways that the dragon could get defeated. All right. Yeah. So basically, you're saying, in a nutshell, uh, in simple terms. That the way to save the dragon, um, to save the unicorn and the fairy, is to unplug them from the device. Yeah, and get them out of the cage. Okay, awesome. All right, so now for a second way, could we get the adventuring party? Now I just need a little yes or no answer. Uh, have the adventuring party maybe talk the dragon and like talk to the dragon to get him to release them and have them like have a conversation and then convince the dragon no 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 you don't need you don't need their powers you don't need to do this you think that could be one option 
No. <laughs> okay, so what? So we're we just gonna either sneak them out or um, attack them. Sneak out. Huh? Sneak out. Well, you want it to be just a sneak out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> no worries. So basically, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to come up with a a couple of options because when we play with people everybody will think a little bit differently to you so we will have it so that the dragon can get spoken to or we can have it so that you can just fight the dragon and go from there what would happen if the party cannot sneak away and if they cannot defeat the dragon what would happen to the land of everbright if the dragon was successful so um the land of um what is it again everbright the land of everbright um, would get destroyed and all the houses would get burned down yeah and okay so if if we don't stop the dragon the dragon is going to destroy everbright with his power yeah, he's gonna like um, use his fiery breath mm -hmm. to like burn down all the houses, and then um he will like just like um like capture all the unicorn fairies in um the cages. Yeah. And then he will do the exact same what he did to Sophie and Isabel. Fair enough. Okay. And then um, he'll be the most powerfulest dragon ever. I, I like it. I, I, okay. All right, so we've got a good hook. We've got a good reason to why the party are going to be going to Everbright and stop the big bad dragon. They're there to stop him from gaining all the power and destroying Everbright. And they have to save, um, what was the unicorn's name again? Isabel, uh, Isabel the fairy is Sophie. and Sophie the fairy. All right. And they, you've got to stop Harry the dragon from uh, gaining all the power and going from there all right so yeah. we, we, we've had a nice little discussion on where why the party needs to get going and i think that's a nice place we're going to stop there for today so this has been mind and mead this is the ttrpg world building series that myself and my daughter are doing and my daughter's name is mia mia and my name is sebastian and thank you very very much for listening and we shall see you next time on the next episode where we delve a little bit deeper into the world of everbright thank you bye bye channel <laughs> <laughs>